美国在二零零三年入侵伊拉克，伊拉克政府军很快就败退。总统萨达姆随后逃到家乡提克里特，但随后被美军抓获。萨达姆之后被控在一九八二年在杜杰勒村杀害过百人而被判处死刑。凤凰卫视驻伊拉克记者重回提克里特，专访当年在萨达姆杜杰勒案审判当中作证的目击证人。我们来看九幺幺系列报道之伊拉克篇。Saddam Hussein's story started here in Tikrit, Aoja village. The story started in 1937, April 28. Saddam Hussein, the man who ruled Iraq by using iron vest. Iraq in his arena witnessed very critical events. The country passed through wars and internal external eruptions, started from in 1979. Ended in 2003. Saddam Hussein ruled Iraq with an iron vest. Saddam Hussein came by an American train to Iraq in order to assassinate the leader of the Communist Party, Abdi Kareem Qasim, on October 7th in 1959. The main goal behind Saddam's support was to end the communist tide in Iraq, since the later leader Abdi Kareem Qasim. Was the first Iraqi president to open diplomatic relations with China and Soviet unions, and refused to deal with the British and Americans. Saddam Hussein was able to reach power through the killing of all leaders of the Ba'ath Party, and to become president of the Iraqi Republic in 1979. After the American invasion and the arrest of Saddam Hussein, the American forces announced that Iraq was under occupation, and thus Saddam Hussein would be a prisoner of war and must be subject to an international trade. And with this, the American helped Saddam Hussein once again. But we were able to raise the jail case and number of other cases against Saddam Hussein and his associate to let them meet the justice. The first trail began before the Iraqi Special Tribunal on the 19th October 2005. At this trail, Saddam and seven other defendants were tried for crimes against humanity with regard to events that took place after a failed assassination attempt in Dujail in 1982. But Saddam was not able to see this moment. Saddam Hussein, after meeting Donald Rumsfeld, had a grave feeling that the Americans would help him escape, or wouldn't allow to us to bring him to justice. But we were able to provide an evidence and prove that Saddam Hussein was killing Iraqi citizens without a trail, oppressing the Iraqi people, and creating chaos in the region. Iraq and the Middle East have suffered greatly because of the American policies and their support for terrorists. Started with the economic blockade, the suppression of freedom, the culling of important and prominent religious figures, and the disallowing of others with freedom of expression. In 2003, Americans invaded Iraq and captured Saddam in Red Dawn operation. In 2006, the 30th of December. Saddam Hussein was executed. Hussein al-Fartusi, Phoenix TV, Iraq, Tikrit.